It has sat on the corner of 6th and Lafayette for more than 30 years. A little corner side cafe with a larger than life mural. But it was hard to see that mural today because of the long line that formed outside. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how longtime customers are sad to see this restaurant go. All veggies. I've been coming here off and on since during the 90s. With a line this long. A good place for lunch with good food other than chain uh, fast food, you know. On a day this hot, both outside. In 115 degrees, yeah. whatever it is. And inside. The air conditioner retired before I did. You know, the food has to be worth it. I think mom and grandma together came together and made a meal. That's all I'm saying. It's fabulous. Big bowl of white beans. For regulars like Gary and Kevin. Well, I'm trying to decide if I want meatloaf or if I want fried chicken. The potential for so many good decisions. What is that? Noodles? Is that noodles? It's cabbage. Fried cabbage. Oh, fried cabbage. There you go. Has paralyzed them with indecision. See, this is what you call meat and three. Meat and then one, two, three, and then we have dessert, which is actually four. <laughs> Maybe we call that meat and four. <laughs> and make no mistake, while the food is phenomenal. Lynette, how you doing? They're all here. Gonna miss you too, Lynette. To see the man who started it all. I'm gonna miss this place. I am. It's been a home for 31 years. Dan Robinson started Danger Cafe in 1991 with two cooks. I can't tell you the secret recipe of this place. <laughs> and a dream to lure in customers with some incredible southern food. Let me get the mac and cheese. Those customers had children and grandchildren. Yeah, I remember when he was that small. Yeah. Who have been coming in week after week ever since. I'm generational now. You know, I've seen, you know, the mom and pop and their children and now grandchildren are coming to eat, so. But now Dan says it's time. Well, I tell you, Father Time just will let you know. And while he's ready to retire, he's a little less eager to say goodbye. It's been a joy and some sadness involved at the same time, but I think we all get to that point where we deserve to, to do our duty and then go as well. <laughs> but luckily for him, instead of having to seek out all his favorite customers. What do you say, my friend? You doing all right? They all seem to be lining up. Hey, hey. For one or two. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Final meals. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. There are many stars in your crown in heaven for having fed Nashville so well for so long. Chris Davis. And may others rise up to take your place. Absolutely. News Channel 5. Danger's Cafe will remain open until next Thursday. After that, we're told the building is for sale and will likely be demolished. I think they should do a cookbook. Oh, yeah. If they're not going to be there, we were just talking. With all of us. Look at that good food. <laughs> that meatloaf looked really yeah, we good. We wish them all the best.